Hey, Ed here with Team Aquascape. I am down in Muhammad, Illinois, a couple hours south of Chicago. We are working on a really, really cool project. So this is a renovation project of an existing pond, many, many decades old. All that has been removed and we are right in the middle of the major construction project. We have our team split up all over the place. So why don't you follow me along and I'll show you what we have going on here today. Getting the pumps ready. These are Surumi solids handling pump. These are awesome pumps, been using them for 20 years. These things are bomb proof. Great for our application, they produce a lot of water. This is gonna be for our wetland pump and it's gonna give us 500 or so gallons a minute. So this is a five horsepower. The other one over there is a 10 horsepower pump. That's gonna give us over 800 gallons a minute and that is gonna feed our waterfall. There's our impeller. And look at the size of that thing. Put your whole fist inside it. waiting for dropping in this big old log beautiful piece of oak came down in a storm from those woods 100 or so yards that way so now we're bringing it in we are going to set it right here in the inside edge of this pond we have our reinforced polypropylene liners we have multiple layers of our heavy duty fabric The log is in. We got some big chunks of rock over in here to stabilize everything. We're coming in with another big stone to go right here in between. And that log that's behind the machine is gonna kind of come at an angle this way and get wedged in between that big rock. So the idea is the tree fell down, hit that big rock, snapped. We're gonna do some uh, plantings and stuff around that joint because it is a nice clean joint and we want it to look a little bit more natural. So we'll have a little bit of work to do with that, but overall, coming together. coming in. So this is a 1500 gallon septic tank. We've modified it a little bit. We cut this opening here. It is uh, six feet wide, approximately a foot tall. That's going to allow all of our water into the bottom. It's going to line up with those aqua blocks right over in here. So that goes in and there's another piece that goes on top of it. So here's the opening for our water to enter back into our concrete vault. So this is like a little sump area. So the reason we have that is there's a minimum submergence level on the pumps themselves. So we want to make sure that we have access to all of this water. So that's why we have this cut in here. We're allowing in enough water to come in without causing any problems with too much turbulence. So we want a nice even flow going in. So now these big aqua blocks are going to go across the top. We're putting in these small aqua blocks and then that joint you can see right there, we're gonna fill that back up with uh, river stone to level everything off to this elevation. So it's nice and tight. Aqua blocks are going in, everything's leveled. You can see that little bit of a joint left. We put that river stone around it to get everything level. Now we're gonna come in front with our aqua blocks going all the way across. And on top of this, we're gonna come in with a three to five inch river stone. That's gonna act as our pre-filter. Took our time laying everything out. So you can see the elevation of the top of these blocks in relationship to this. This is going to be a little bit deeper, so the water actually speeds up and then it kind of pools up a little bit and it allows the material to kind of swirl around so you could clean it out easily. On top of this, we're not going to have gravel, some flagstone, so it's going to be really nice and smooth and what we can do with that is we can have it nice and even. That'll allow for a very consistent flow of water coming in. next steps here over at the uh, intake bay you can see our elevation is set right there about four to six inches above our aqua blocks we over excavated some of these areas and the reason we did that makes it easier for the installation gives us lots of room to get in there and work we don't want to cover the top of these blocks with large boulders so once we fill this joint over here with river stone we'll be able to get some big rocks way over here which are not going to be sitting on top of the blocks now the aqua blocks could actually handle that weight, but what we don't want to do is because this is a large pond, this is our pre-filter. We don't want to block that space up, so we're just shrinking this down to a little three foot by three foot area. If we did that, they would be out here constantly maintaining this. So we want to give them as much square footage as possible. So here's the backfill process on the back side of our concrete vault. We have our polypropylene liner right here. 
and we have multiple layers of our heavy duty fabric, tied it up with some twine just to kind of hold some of that stuff nice and tight. And then we're coming in with this nice fill material right up on top. Now we are gonna get ready to have a little bit of fun here because we're gonna start setting some monster boulders over here in our waterfall. So here's our big rock getting dropped in place. So that's just a gorgeous rock. We got some of these edge stones over here, nice little low waterfall. Now we're gonna go vertical, big guy here, and then try to have an upper fall, so a little bit taller because we got that beautiful stone to work with. Nick and I are working on this uh, main waterfall over here. We have some of our rocks set over in this section. What we're doing right now is once we set those rocks, uh, we come in, we pull the liner back, and those rocks are gonna tell us this elevation. So what we do, instead of just coming in and carving random shelves, we set the bottom course of stone, pull the liner back, and then we start carving out at the appropriate elevation. We don't know that elevation until these rocks are really set. I know it takes a little bit more work to do it like this, but it actually comes out with a better product. Everything's gonna look a lot tighter. While we're on this side, they're coming in, they're starting to do some of the work over here in the wetland. You can see that they have the three inch pipe that has been pulled out. That is a continuation of the main four inch pipe that's coming out of our pump vault. The four inch pipe is splitting into three three inch Two of those are gonna go into our wetland. The other one is gonna continue this way and it's gonna create a series of jets which are gonna push the water in that direction. So we want all this water to come over here under the bridge, combine with our waterfall. All that water is gonna go that way around the corner into our custom skimmer system. So that's gonna get really nice circulation which is the key to a healthy aquatic ecosystem. So the next steps are gonna to be to continue that stonework this way around that edge and then start doing that top edge. So we always start our stonework on the bottom and we work our way up. So what we do when we're doing design work, a variety of different types of edge treatments. We don't want all stone, we don't want all logs, we don't want all plants, we don't want all rock. We want, we want a mixture of all those different things which is gonna give us that naturalistic look. We are gonna take this liner and we're gonna fold it back this way behind this log. And then what we'll do is we'll fill this joint in between here and here with regular planting soil. This is gonna be dry, so we're gonna have the liner on this side, so water's on that side. And here it's really gonna blend this log into everything. Tried to set some of these rocks in place for turtles, amphibians, and things like that to crawl up out of the water where they could sun themselves over in this area. And this is gonna transition from here into our wetland filtration system. Dropping in another monster log. This is gonna go at the base of the waterfall. So what this is going to do is going to create an entire edge on the back side of that waterfall. It's going to direct our water flow over into that corner. So it's got some nice, some character to this thing. It's also got a lot of mass and it will take up the, a lot of room over on the bottom. So it really creates a, a neat effect. So nice thing about this, you can see those big ones way over here. We're going to try to balance it out. So we got big logs on that side, get some over on this side, maybe another couple pieces on that far edge over there. Waterfall's coming together. We got this whole lower section done. Love working with this big, beautiful moss rock. Water going over this notch right here behind this big rock. And we have stair step over on this side. So the large rocks are set over here. Excavation is back on this side. We have a layer of the fabric against the soil. We have our liner going over everything. Then we have another layer of that fabric. And now we're filling in between that joint with the uh, large river stone. That's gonna give us that, that compaction that we're looking for. And then once that's done, we'll have the ability to drop in more rocks over in here. Now our challenge is gonna be sealing this up. 
So what we'll do is we'll cut either pieces of liner or fabric and we'll bridge across that open joint right there, creates a nice watertight seal. Water flows over the top of the stone. So here's a handy little tip. So here's our main pipe coming in, four inch pipe, which is delivering the water here. Put some bricks around our snorkel cap, and then that rock is gonna bridge across. What that's gonna do, it's gonna allow them to mark exactly where that snorkel's at. And then all you have to do is flop that out of the way. Those bricks will keep the gravel from getting in around that snorkel cap. Waterfall's coming together, doing all of our layers. What we're doing is we're gonna try to bring in a big old stone up in here right now. Nice to have the right equipment. We got a Cat 315D right there. This is what we need for the reach as well as the lifting capacity to make this stuff happen. Oh yeah, look at that face of that thing. That's a pretty sweet rock. Getting ready for the next level. So our waterfall rock is right here. We want that elevation to be about eight inches below the top of that rock. That'll give us a little bit of flexibility when the next course of rock to raise or lower it with some river rocks, with some gravel. Again, this is a little bit different than uh, residential construction. And over on this side, those guys are continuing to set those boulders on that edge, um, creating some little planting pocks, some little river rock pockets and things like that going around the perimeter. We are out here, we got a bunch of rain last night. This never seems to end over here. Today we're gonna have a lot more people from the park district giving us a hand. I'm gonna start them doing some of the foaming and sealing up of the bottom section of the waterfall, which we've already completed. So let me show you what we've already done here. The original pond was coming up right over here. This was gonna be the boundary. And what I decided to do, create a deep water ledge right in here. So instead of having the waterfall pushed way out over here, we dug into this and and the pond level is going through this little shallow area. What that's gonna do is all those waterfalls are gonna come down. That's gonna create a really good push of water. When you have a waterfall that dumps down into a deep section of water, 18 or 24 inches deep, what happens is you just get a lot of uh, turbulence right at the base of the waterfall. So what this does, because this is only six, eight inches deep, that water is gonna come down and it tries to escape itself out as quickly as possible. So it really creates a big, big push of water going out in this direction. We're creating all these different layers and drops and things like that, big waterfall over here. Um, several different staircases over on that side. We're working our way up systematically. The challenge that we have, we have these two existing walls. They want to protect those just because of the history. Ideally, I would have loved to have this waterfall kind of bouncing all the way around this thing. But once we get to the top, we could start making some of those changes. So that's kind of where we're at right now. continue marching up that waterfall. Uh, Tim is down here at the bottom doing some of the foaming work. So this is a critical point. If we don't seal up these uh, gravel beds below those rocks, all the water is gonna flow underneath the rocks. We're taking some scrap pieces of the polypropylene liner. We cut them into the right, right position on top of our gravel bed. Then we come in with some of that expandable polyurethane foam, the waterfall foam. We put it underneath the edge and then we kind of squish it down and then hit it on the top. Once it's done, we cover it up with that river stone and now we have a pocket for that water to fall into. It's not gonna go through it and it's gonna continue running over these uh, the waterfall stones. So this one, he just foamed this. You can see the big sheet of polypropylene in here. So this is all gonna get foamed in place. Waterfall's coming together. It's all locked in place. That log looks great. And then we got this other big craggy slab of sandstone up there. Gotta get a big rock right behind that one to act as a frame rock and that'll force the water over that little edge. Behind this rock, I need something kind of big too. So we're always trying to play around with how that water's gonna be flowing, where our low spot is gonna be at, and then where we want water to come off of. This log, you kind of see it. 
very subtle, slightly lower here. I want more water coming over on this side, and then I want the water to get thinner and thinner and thinner because I don't want any water going over back that way. There's still a ton of work left to do. Forest Preserve guys are gonna come in here and they have a lot of extra stuff that they're gonna get done. So we came out, we were basically helping them, working side by side with their team, teaching them the entire time, working with them so they can kind of keep the budget down a little bit. So this has been a lot of fun. Let me show you what we've done so far and still what they have to do. Pump fall over here. We have our two big Surumi pumps in there. One is for our submersible jets, which are going way all the way down to that far end. Then the other stuff is going for our wetland filter, which is going right in this section. But all this is all nice and layered up. This is our intake bay. That's gonna be that pre-filter area. We have lily pockets. You can see some of these pockets full of soil over in here. And then everything kind of stretches down this way. What we've been working on for the past couple days has been the waterfall. This thing stretches a little over 20 feet tall. Boom, goes all the way up. Beautiful moss rocks did a really good job of kind of mixing up all those different styles of waterfalls. Then all that stuff should be planted up. They have a bunch of different master gardeners here on site, so they'll be able to take care of all that stuff. Let's take a walk up that waterfall now. This is my favorite section. From here up to that rock up there. 60,000 gallons per hour is gonna overflow through this little spot and through that little spot. So we're gonna have just a torrent of water going through there. So I have a big fall here rapids fall coming down but i love the little details of all this type of stuff i mean just check out some of that stuff just cutting with the chainsaw fitting this stuff together foaming all these different things in place another log up in here so this is just going to create that right white water uh, action a big boulder on top six inch pipe is going to discharge up there cannot wait <laughs> for this thing to be operational so this has been a, a really great project been a lot of fun working with uh, the people out here if you like this stuff please like comment subscribe let us know what we can do to continue to bring you great content, really cool projects throughout the world. All right, everybody, you have a great day. We'll see you soon.